Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to do some stop and or start and stop counting, but we're going to use some larger numbers today. So what I wanna do is, um, okay. let's start, let's actually start with 58. I wanna start with 58. Now, we are used to doing some writing along with our counting. I'd like to see if we can just start at a number and count all the way up and end at the other number. Okay, I wanna try that. Let's try that together and see how it goes. Are we ready? We're, so we're in the 50s family and we're almost at the end. We're, we're at eight, which means we're gonna be jumping to the next family. So after 50s come, good job, that's right, 60s. Here we go. 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Very good, now we're gonna do something a little bit trickier. Now we're gonna start at 67 and we're gonna count back and we're going to stop at 58. Here we go. 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60. Now what comes before the 60s? The 50s, and who is the last person in the family? Nine, so 59, 58. Nice job, nice job. I know that's a little bit tougher. You can feel free to leave me a comment at the bottom of a lesson if that was too tough. We can always do some writing and counting, but I wanted to try this today because I know it's a little bit harder. We have to use our noggin and what we know about numbers. Let's try a little bit higher family. Um, this time, let's start with, hmm, ooh, I got it. Let's start at 79. And I want to stop at 88. So I'm starting in the 70s family. In fact, 79 is the very last one in the family. And after 70s come 80s. Good job. All right, let's go. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, very good. We are going to now count backwards from 88 and stop at 79. Here we go. 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79. Excellent job. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna do one more like this where we're not writing the numbers. And this time we're gonna start at 83. And we're going to stop. We're gonna go a little bit further. I wanna go all the way to 97, okay? So let's start at 83, and we're gonna stop at 97. Here we go. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. What comes after the 80s? Good, 90. Now we're in the 90s family. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 
97. Excellent job. And now we're going to count back from 97 all the way to 83. Here we go. 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83. Excellent job. Now, I want to continue some counting. I'm not going to just focus on those larger numbers today, but I want to focus on some counting um, and writing at the same time. And we're going to really continue focusing on those decades. So let's start with nine. And we're going to write um, to 13. Okay. And let's count, we're going to count forward and we're going to count backward when we're done with our sequence. Are we ready? So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's our stopping point. So let's count up and back. Are you ready? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and back. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Excellent job, boys and girls. Excellent job. Okay, this time I want to start at 19. So we're going to start in the tens family. What comes after the tens family? That's right, two tens, the twenties family. Here we go. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Excellent job. Let's count up and back. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and back. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. All right, let's do one more counting sequence to practice. Uh, hmm, you know what? Let's do, let's start in our 20s. Notice that all of the numbers I begin with have a 9 in them. So now we're going to start in the 20s family and we will stop at 33. Are you ready? 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Let's count forward and back. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And back. 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. Now guys, I want to ask a question. I'm going to go through and I'm going to write these sequences again. We, You don't have to do this, but I want you to look at them. So we started with nine, and then we started with 19. Sorry, my marker is super squeaky today. And then we started with 29. I want you to look at these sequences. I don't want you to pause the video and I want you and your parents to talk about what do you notice about the numbers in the sequences? Is there anything that's the same about them? Is there anything different about them? 
go ahead and pause and talk about that for a moment. Okay, boys mm -hmm. and girls, if you paused your video, um, then you and your parents may have talked about how all the sequences have a nine in them and then a zero number and a one and a two and a three. The only difference is that these numbers are in the 20s family, right? And these numbers start in the 20s family and then end in the 30s family, but look at all the other digits. They are the same. Nine 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 zero 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 one 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 two 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 three three three, and so we have this pattern, right? Learning about numbers is really recognizing that pattern, and once we recognize that, it's going to make it much much easier to count and to think about numbers, especially as we head into other grade levels and the numbers get larger we learn that those patterns just continue as the numbers get bigger. I hope you have a fabulous day. It is actually Friday, which means tomorrow is a non-school day. It is Saturday, so I won't see you for two days, but I will see you next week on Monday. Have a blessed weekend. Go outside and play and have a great time with your family. Love you guys.